Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Jerusalem News TV. My name is Ronnie Isaiah. I'm your anchor man with David Kalimnik, our commentator. Shalom. Tonight's story: Foreign Minister Lieberman calls for boycott of Israel Arab businesses who strike for Gaza. Well, there, there, there's a the point that Lieberman's been making to not buy from businesses that are not willing to sell to you. Don't go to those businesses. If there's a business that's out there that says we we are boycotting and, and you 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 um, then stay away from that business. Says says Lieberman. And that is correct. In this Jerusalem report, Jerusalem Post reports also that again, the foreign minister that is supposed to be the face of the state of Israel is showing his racist ugly face. That's a quote from Merritt's party head as she responds. Well, using words like like potty head, stupid face, do make a very strong point on the Knesset political scene over here in Israel. I don't think that uh, Zahava Galan, the, uh, the leader of Meretz, uses uh, the term potty face. But that's okay, she's calling for Avigdor Lieberman, uh, uh, his, his Cuckoo. Monday Cuckoo, I didn't, I don't think Jerk that... face, kissing in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, first comes love, then comes marriage. And then Lieber comes Ron in the baby carriage. And Lieberman has called for this boycott. Sucking his thumb, wetting his pants, doing the I am a merits. So there's a quote again in this Jerusalem Post article. Again, the right-wing fascist politician calls on the public not to buy from the minority. This is Gal An putting down Lieberman. This is the merits part. Ron, I'll take the, the commentary from here. I believe that's for me to do. Thank you. Thank you, David Kalinick, our commentator here at Jerusalem News Team. For the next story, Startup Israel... So, soda stream, soda stream fire. You know, when you were talking about boycotting, I have to tell, I have to tell you that soda stream fire. There's a lot of you, you know, boycotting that's going on. You know, and and I have to say to the to the world out there, you know, to share what would be an objective opinion, as I am the commentator, and I'm not sharing my own personal opinions, Ron, if I may say. There's, there's a lot of you know boycotting, and, and that has to stop, because you know there's there are countries out there like, the like in Ukraine and, and Indonesia, who are not getting the right amount of business that they deserve for their exports. So I say, hey, let's stop boycotting. Brilliant comment. And for our next story. We're not going to be moving into our next story. Ron is your anchor. I'm your commentator. That's why I'm here to tell you, to explain to you what we're doing here on Chadashot Yerushalayim. Ron is, is your, your anchor. Take it away, Ron. Startup Israel reports that SodaStream fires 60 Palestinian employees. The carbonation machine company sacks workers who complained about the quality of food provided for Ramadan breakfast meal. Well, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. The soda stream people were serving them the soda, and these people were complaining, you know, oh, we, we are not getting enough for our meal. That's offensive. Here's your packet. Drink your packet. And the soda stream workers were saying, hey, we want more than Soda Stream. If you want more than Soda Stream, you don't deserve to stay at Soda Stream. Soda Stream's been pushing the nutrients on their package, and if that's not enough for breaking your fast, Soda Stream has been in the news recently. Their spokesperson, Scarlett, beautiful spokesperson. Yeah, oh, Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson is is uh, yeah, she's she had been pressured to quit. Uh, because of the uh, the the conflict between the 
uh, Palestinians and, uh, and the rest of the world that is looking to boycott uh, products that are made in the West Bank. SodaStream is located just outside the Green Line in the suburb of Male Adumim, Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. Yeah. So it's almost in town it's, here. Oh, it's, yeah, it's located in Malay, right out of Malay. Sixty of the Arab employees were fasting for Ramadan. Well, the world was 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 putting in their word for stopping stopping the the ability and and the availability of Arab workers for Jewish-owned companies and SodaStream themselves came and answered and said, "Yes, you are correct." That has to stop. Business in what is known as the West Bank has to stop, Ron, because otherwise you, there will be more Arabs who have jobs. This, there, this isn't what... Job you, availability has to stop, Ron. This isn't the previous report where we said Lieberman is boycotting those that are boycotting. We're not the talking boycotting. about... Yes, we're not talking about SodaStream boycotting the meal. Uh, of the Arabs because the Arabs were trying to boycott SodaStream, nothing like that. It's just simply they didn't have enough food, they complained, and were fired. They had SodaStream, and you know, look, if you're working for my company uh, uh, over at the, the hardware store and you say, oh, you here are not feeding me enough and, you know, something, hey, if you don't like our product, if you're not uh, going to eat our product, then that then then that's offensive to the company, and and yeah, don't work for us. If if we if we can't provide you with the right food, then maybe this isn't the job for you. That's be that's beautifully crystallized and capsulized in commentary. Thank you, David Kalimnik, for your commentary. And next next report. anytime anytime I'm here for you to give you the news and to explain to you how. This is all happening in is and, and to explain to you what what really is going on in Israel, because there's a lot behind the scenes that people don't understand, and they depend on me for that, Ron. Every time, every time you explain that. Yes, Ron. Every show, I do explain what commentary is, because yeah, what is commentary to people if they don't know what the commentary means? And they don't know, hey, what is the commentator doing? If he's commenting, I should also comment on what I'm doing as a commentator for the people who are watching. I believe that's, that's right in an in, in explanation sense. If you can explain otherwise, please explain. But that's not your job. My job is to explain. Your job is not to explain. So, once again, no response because you're not supposed to respond. Here it goes. You want to boycott Israel? Then don't eat the soup nuts. That's right. Forget about the soup nuts. Forget about the enjoying your soup, putting something in soup that can remain hard. Go back to your croutons, your little oilized bread. Okay? Try that. Try that world of boycotting. And that's not an opinion. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. Israel has brought soup nuts to the world, a creation of Israel. Divest of, divest of soup nuts. Divest of enjoying your own soup. That... Right now. Right, thank you. It's been thank a, you very much. Thank you. David Kalimnik, our commentator. I'm Ronnie Isaiah. Anchorman will be signing off. He's Ronnie Isaiah. He's, he's signing off. He's... Uh,